90s, everyone keeps talking about saving the planet and how our Earth needs rescuing. So why do we need to save it? Well, I'm pretty sure all of us know the answer to this question, but for some of you who still don't, I am bound to ask you this. Are you living in this world? It is because of us, the humans, the glory of God's creation. We, along with our selfish desires, have done everything in our power to destroy the world that provides for us. We have made it impossible for our cohabitants to exist alongside. People say we humans are social beings. We cannot live alone. We are not made to survive in alienation. But you know what I think? I think we are the most selfish creatures living on this planet. Striving to survive is one thing, but killing innocents just to prove that you are superior to them is unacceptable. The negligent industries and flawed government policies are surely to blame. But have you ever realized how much our everyday activities and our uh, luxuries contribute to the degradation of environment? For example, while walking down the road, you might have crossed a lot of smokers. And if you ever ask them to quit smoking, you know what they will answer. Why do you care? It is my lungs that I'm killing. It is myself that I'm harming. Well, I care because you're harming my lungs too. I care because you're harming my planet. There's evidence which shows that passive smoking increasing the risk of nasal sinus cancer, larynx cancer, breast cancer, long and short term respiratory system, loss of lung function and countless other chronic diseases. And do you even know how many fish die after consuming the cigarette butts that you throw here and there conveniently? Humans have changed the face of Earth by polluting the environment to such an extent that a large number of species are now extinct. To say we plundered and have come close to destroying Earth would be an understatement. To say we care about the environment would be foolish. To say that human race has fared, failed our mother Earth would be spot on. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorn. And we did scorn our mother Earth in all the ways possible, causing natural calamities that have shook us hard. Let's take the example of the current coronavirus outbreak. It has affected every, every single being on this planet, snatching away the lives of our loved ones. Well, perhaps we had it coming our way. Perhaps we needed to be reminded that we're only temporary inhabitants of this world and any power we think we hold is but a grain of sand compared to the planet itself. We have not only failed our mother earth, but we have also failed our future generations. Since decades, people like you and me have been shouting, begging, begging for the rights of our planets. But has there been any actions? No amount of protests, international meetings, campaigns and posts can fix the continual damage that we cause. You remember the good old days when we used to have 12 years to save our planet? Well, now it has come down to a few months and when this timeline is over, we might not even get a chance for any do-overs. The change is real and it is coming. The economical, the ecological and social change is inevitable and all we have is to adapt to it. Our biggest shared challenge right now is climate change, and it is quite overwhelming. Well, because we as individuals cannot stop it, even if we're perfect green consumers, refusing to fly, reusing shopping bags, going vegan, we're trapped in a system that makes it impossible to stop adding to the problem. Living requires eating, getting to work, and staying warm enough in the winter and cool enough in the summer to work and to live. For now, it is impossible to do any of these things without emitting carbon. So what do we do? As individuals, it is much more effective to spend our energy demanding those policies which will make going green easier and cheaper at the same time. We cannot solve the climate climatic crisis by being good consumers, but we absolutely can make things much better by being good citizens. The matter of environment protection is of utmost urgency. Owing to various human made activities, the situation is under a dire threat. The damage is tremendous and has reached a point of no return. However much we try, we cannot undo the destruction that has already been in inflicted. Thus, we need to lessen the human impact on the environment as much as possible, if not for the other species sake, then for our own survival. The mountains are my bones, the rivers are my veins, the forests are my thoughts, these stars are my dreams. The ocean is my earth and its pounding is my pulse. 
These are the very beautiful lines quoted by one of the most eminent scientists of all times, Albert Einstein. And these are the words we need to carve in our hearts. These are the words that we need to live by, because now if we don't do anything soon, we will have nothing left to save. That is it for today. Thanks for being with me, and I, I hope I made you ask this question to yourself. Are we doing enough? Thanks a lot once again.